You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch a Pod time, Key Budge, Greg Garrett. Today joining us, we have Chris Morales from TCTA. Chris, welcome. Well, thank you so much. It's great to be here. I love it. And you are back now at least, this is at least your third trip into the studio. Oh, for corn's sake, are we counting? We are. Yes. Just like Saturday Night Live, if you've been here five times, you get a jacket. <gasps> uh, no, I'm kidding. Oh, my gosh. oh really? It's We're going to have to make times. up some jackets, yes. shirts, it's maybe not, a sticker. It's not in the budget. <laughs> sticker. But, uh, <laughs> I want a sticker. <laughs> we might have to do that for our regular returning guests. I noticed that there are some shows that once you've been on at least five times, they recognize you. So we should have a chart on the wall. Like kindergarten, you get stars. We yeah. could, you know, start that whole thing. Can we like blue chip stamps? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a throwback. There's a throwback. We were. T- uh, I was talking in. in you know, here we are off onto a little a little ramble. But I was talking about Zodis uh, okay. and all these th- things that used to exist. Jim for Co, Jim Montgomery Co. Ward. Yes. Yes. Co. Yeah. Yes. Bed Co, Home Base. Yeah. yeah. Bullocks and Buffums. Yeah. So we, we totally that. have aged ourselves right now. So there's the audience that's under 50 is going, what? Yeah. What are they talking about? Yeah. We're talking about f- important things. But when you flash back with the blue chip stamps, I remember that as a kid, that my parents would have those books to fill with the blue chip stamps so they could redeem them. We did yeah. too. Into the place over in Bakersfield. There was something on, I forget the name of the street, Oak maybe, Oak Street, where we used to go to the blue chip stamp store. Yeah, it was great. You got yeah. to get like a blender or you could get something. I mean, yeah. just putting them in the book was the fun thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so. that was great. But we're not here to talk about <laughs> blue chip stamps or maybe that. that maybe a play. But, but oh, you know what? Okay. That talk about the old times. I was just going to say, I think one of the plays coming up is going to be a throwback mm. into uh, some of our memories that uh, in the periods that we just talked about. Can't wait to hear about it. You want to hear about I it? I do. Oh, I want to tell you. <laughs> so, Chris, what is happening at TCTA? Well, a lot's happening at TCTA. So um, right now we're in the middle of our Playwrights Festival. We already had the auditions, and it's eight plays that were, um, uh, I guess, uh, uh, an announcement went out kind of maybe a month ago, and people sent in plays, and they were picked, and now we've got these wonderful plays that are only 10 minutes long, and July 14th is the opening date, and we've got a lot of brand new actors that are taking our stage. It's only 10 minutes, so they feel very comfortable with that. And um, they are going to come out there. They're going to do their show. And everybody that comes and sees the show gets to vote on their favorite 10-minute play. And then on the very last day, which is fantastic, on the 23rd, we're going to have a huge party out in Centennial Plaza. Did you get a permit for that? Uh, <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, I might know someone in the this room. Yes, that no matter out. what. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be phenomenal. We're going to have Claire Scotty out there making charcuterie for us, right? So we're going to have these big boards of charcuterie. We're going to have Italian desserts. We're going to name off all of our winners for the Playwrights Festival. We're going to give out, which is very important to TCTA and to our community theater, the John King Award. And we're going to give out the two, that to two people this year, and they don't know who they are yet. And then we're going to have a little surprise. All right. Oh. Yeah. Well, I wanna, I'm, I'm already peaked with the John King Award. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, John King is a wonderful man. He um, came to the BK Theater and saw every single show that the BK had ever put on since, gosh, I don't even know. I think he came for like 20, 30 years in a row. I mean, he saw everything. And you knew when John King was in the audience, you wanted to do even a better show. There was something about John King. There was this man who had donated his time. He donated money. He he was part of the BK. He was a huge, I don't know, he was just a huge presence for us. Like a lasting, positive legacy. Yeah. He's, he's just a really great guy. He was very kind, and he loved our shows. Whether it was a good show or a bad show, he never said anything bad mm. about any show. And so... When John passed several years ago, we put a, we have a picture of him in the BK lobby, and for many years we've given out what is called the John King Award, which is the highest award that you can get for our community theater, which means a lot to any one of us that have been part of um, the BK and the TCTA um, community theater. So it's a big oh, deal for us. I love that. I do too. That's really special. I mean, that's I say this a lot, but there's so many things like this example that make to hatch be so special. It does. We really help does. each other, we honor each other, we lift each other up. Yes. 
And that's what it's all about. And mm. I think if you've never been part of theater before, you that's the one thing that gravitates me to theater and has for many, many years. And some people that are just trying it out is you have special people like John King. You have special people like a James Carhart and a Linda Carr who do so many wonderful things for us. Mm-hmm. Gary Mazzola, fantastic, has been around for a very long time. So you have these wonderful people that have put their heart and soul into it, and you just want to match it. You know, you don't expect to get an award or anything like that. But as a board member, we really look through all of that to find out which people have been exemplary. And so we've got two this year. Normally, it's just one, but we are changing it up and we're making it a uh, male and female award, which is the John King Award for both people. Wow, that's pr- super special. So the Playwrights Palooza. Yeah. So it's a 2023 Playwrights Festival. I can hardly say that. Yeah. So let's let's give out the dates and the times and all that, and then we can move on to the, the next and the next and next, and we can keep talking about different plays. Yeah, so Playwrights Palooza. It's fantastic. So it's going to open up on July 14th, and it runs for two weekends, and um, just on a Friday night, Saturday night, like everything else, and then we have the Sunday matinee. And we've got all kinds of, like, eight directors, some that have directed for us before and some that are brand new. Um, I'm directing or mentoring a young director named Alex McKenzie. He just joined us. He's from the high school, and I think he's going to be a senior this year. So I mentored him, and he's uh, directed the show called Wizard of Bras. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And he's so, in high school. And he's in high school. Mm. Mm-hmm. Makes you wonder, right? No. <laughs> he's a great kid. And the show, and that 10-minute uh, play is actually a, a wonderful show that um, was written. And the actual um, writer for that is going to be in the audience to see it. So, so 10 so. plays, 10 minutes long. At the end of every play, you vote. Or at the end of the evening, you vote. Yes. And then you tally the votes. And then you have the big celebration yeah. in Centennial Plaza afterwards. Right. So Saturday, the very last show on the Saturday, which I believe is the 22nd, um, that will be the last time you can vote. And then on the 23rd, whoever comes on the 23rd, that's the great, that's the fun day because you get to see all of them. No voting on that day because the votes will have already been counted up. But you do get to be part of the big party. That's part of the money that you've spent to come see the show, which is 20 bucks. And you get all of everything in the show. You get the charcuterie, the desserts, all the awards, and the special announcement that I'll make in just a minute. All right. She's going to wait. make us wait. I can't even talk today. Chris does a great (laughs) job of teasing things. Mm -hmm. I'm like a kid. But it's marketing, (laughs) right? I've got to keep you hanging. That's just a little daggle right there. That's right. There you go. (laughs) Now, with the, the different plays that have come in, I... If I remember correctly, you had one that had actually had come in in the past years. It was from Australia? We did. That no, was from New Zealand. New Zealand. Yes, from New Zealand. And um, that person did win. Um, they did get an award. Um, we still have to actually mail it. Um, and they're, I think they wrote another play that they're going to be um, doing again this year. So you don't have to be present to win? No, you do not. Oh, sh- but I don't love I? the fact that you, 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 your audience is a global draw. It is a global mm. draw. It's it's all over the world. So we encourage that because there, there's people that we don't know, but that's part of trying to stay in contact with people through our website and anything that we do on YouTube, if we can put a little blips of things that we do, that if you want to be part of it, just want to check it out, submit. You never know what's going to happen. Just jump in, in there and do it. It's fun. Now, do we have any local entries? Um, we have one local entry this year. Last year we had three. Okay. Um, this year we have one local entry. I, I'm it, that just to me is we, here we are a little Tehachapi, but you've got this huge footprint. You just you step out mm-hmm. outside of our zip code and you're reaching a, across the hemisphere. No doubt. I love you it. Know, and people are are sending in their their works because they would love to have it considered. Here in Tehachapi. We're That's on the right. map. On do the you map. do uh, Facebook Live or do you record these for? Well, we do record all of our shows. We're not allowed to stream shows. That's okay. a different price that we have to pay when we get the licensing fee. But what we have done. Oh, oh, I totally forgot. Yes, yes, and is yes. Is this a big surprise? No, or it's no? not. Okay. This is another dangler. <laughs> well, you should see her. She's going up. <laughs> you are an actress. I am. <laughs> this is another dangler. So thank you for bringing that up. Um, so what we what we do is we put together a montage of all the plays that we do because we can do like 30 seconds of different things and we don't have to, you know, we don't get in trouble for that. But there was a wonderful gentleman that did a wonderful video that's about 40 minutes long about the BK Theater 
and about TCTA. And um, he interviewed myself and Jackie Walters and Gary Mazzola and James Carhart and Jason Wheeler. And he put this all together and it's on his YouTube page. And we are going to show that on the big screen um, at the BK on Sunday while people are coming in and out. Um, you can sit there. It's only about 30 minutes long, but it's going to be on a loop. And you're going to see all these wonderful shows that we've done on this little montage. That's a great idea. Yeah. Huh? And, of course, everything that we've done at J Street, our second space, where we have people who audition and we build the props and we build the sets. And, of course, you get to see the stage and you get to see sets on the stage. So he did us a wonderful service. He's a fantastic man. I love so this guy. So Key and I, the reason I brought it up, because Key and I are are planning for a City of Tehachapi TV station. Ooh. A TV sta- uh, channel. channel. Channel, yeah, not a station, channel. So we're budgeting and planning for that. I was just thinking content and, of course, oh, TCTA. Absolutely plays into would, it. Yeah. yeah, would have some. So maybe you start purchasing the rights so that we can play. Well, it. let's do it. But, you know, it. it's something to think about, right? So we're, you know, city council meetings, planning mm-hmm. commission meetings, you know, different podcasts that we that we record, maybe put a video camera in here, all kinds of different things. So we're creating this content. So in about a year or so. Sure. We hope to have a channel yeah. for the community. Yeah. I mean, right? Like a community access. You know, yeah, those, exactly. You kind of throw back to like the Saturday Night Live, the Wayne's yeah. World and all those. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, there's no and... secrets at City Hall. We want people to know what's going on. That's right. That's right? right. A to Z, you know, end to end. We're a T-Town. You know, we're Tehachapi. We're yeah. T-Town, you know. And, and a lot of things happen in here. And it's not just about community theater, but it's also about the businesses that come here. It's also about what, you know, Tehachapi High School is doing and the Warriors are doing. It's all about what all these other organizations that do here that sometimes we know about and don't know about. I think one of the wonderful things when we did in uh, 2019, when we did the very first late night talk show telethon that I had put on, we went out and got 30 different um, businesses. We charged them $25. We created the commercial for them. We filmed it. We created it. And we, I learned, oh, my Lord, I didn't know that there's someone here that teaches how to play a cello. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know that there was this person who was very into spiritual stuff that, you know, could help you with your chi. I mean, I had no idea. But these people wanted a commercial made. We made that commercial for 25 bucks and we blasted it, you know, on our, we were streaming it. And we still have that today on our um, Facebook page and on, um, I think, on our website. And so you can see all these different businesses. And that's what TCT wants to do each and every time is not only just show plays, but we want to be part of the community. So what can we do to, to bring you in? What can we do to help that and support that? Right. And you're talking about young men and women at the, uh, at the BK with the directing. I know we have the uh, build a plane program. A lot of the uh, retired aeronautics engineers are helping on that. And Key and I have also talked about having somebody set here from the high school that could participate in this kind of forum if they want to get into communications. Right. So yeah, it's, there's the sky's the limit, right? It really is the limit. And if you're going to do a channel, uh, gosh, I'd love to help you with that in any way that I can. Yeah. You know, we can get whatever people or you can use whatever we have to offer to make that happen for you guys. So. Well, expect that good. call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my number. We should have talked about that before. So that, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. But, so but we got it rolling but, just now. So right. <laughs> it, it never would have come up, Greg. It's a part of these Maybe conversations. Not. The way we yeah. do this podcast, it's about listening and talking and right. it spurs an idea, a thought. And that's the reason why we do it this way. We don't like to do things over the phone via Zoom. It's like, no, sure. we want you in the studio. We want to make eye contact and mm-hmm. and to be able to kind of feel that energy as we talk. And then it pulls that idea out of your head. That's right. It's like, oh, I got to ask about this. That's right. It's like we see something shiny, you know, and like it just stirs it. And then we've got to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. there's no reason to be just a boring government bureaucrat. No, it's right? not. We're one city. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we have rules where we have to follow, you know, yes. with budgets and things. But there's a lot that you can do and you should do. And we, we will do it. We will. So, Absolutely. It yeah. takes a village, right? Takes a village, yeah. It takes a village. Now, what's the role uh, that you have in our uh, Playwrights Palooza? Are you going to be on stage? or did, do you, are you... you know what? This year, I'm not. I'm okay. just the executive producer, so I'm overseeing everything. And one of the reasons why, and I'll start tying into some of the other things that we're doing, is that um, this year is the um, year election year for the board for TCTA. So this year, we are looking for nominations. Uh, you have to be a member of TCTA. 
Um, you can be a member today if you want to, and then um, nominate yourself and be on the board. But we are looking for a um, vice president. We're looking for a um, member at large, an executive producer, and a secretary. And um, those people are key for us. And they all have different job descriptions, but we have four positions. There's seven members on our board, so we're talking about over half of our board is going to be new. And if if we get anybody, otherwise the people who are in position right now, they would like to stay, so their name will be on the ballots already. But we would encourage new people and new blood because the only way I believe that we move forward is by taking what we have and getting some new stuff and moving on. We can stay in our positions for many, many years, and people have, but that doesn't necessarily mean that change happens very quickly. Because as you know, as we get older, we like to stay stuck. I don't like to stay stuck. I like to change it up and mix it up, and I like to see the new things that are happening. I like to bring in fresh things. So I encourage anybody who is a member of TCTA to put your name on the ballot if you want to be in any one of those positions. And if you want to be a member, sign up right now and put your name on the ballot. If you think you can do something, put it out there. And we'll talk to you, and we'll have you tell us why you think you're the best candidate. You've got to go through that whole process. It's very simple. There's no paperwork. It's just you talking. But we'll see that, and then people will vote for you. And if you get in, groovy. And if people have an interest, they can attend your meetings, right? Absolutely. They're open to the public. They're open to the public. We have one this Monday mm-hmm. at 630 over at the BK Theater. Mm-hmm. Our- What's the date Monday? The 10th. The 10th. The 10th. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he's quick. I was grabbing my camera. Well, we've got the planning you. commission meeting, too. Oh, that's right. We have that, the so. Joint City Council Planning Commission for the housing element, right? right. And the planning commission after that. So yep, right. exactly. lots going on yeah. Monday. Yeah. With this, we're looking for the new potential board members. What's the, the deadline So um, on Monday the 10th, um, whether you vote online or nominate, I should say, online or you nominate in person at the meeting, then that goes for two weeks. And then those nominations will hang out there for about two weeks and people can start voting then. And then about three weeks in, that's when we're going to tally up the votes. And we should have probably new members of our board that will start or be nominated or not nominated, but announced in August and take position in September. Okay, and they can do that by going to TCTA on stage or TCT on stage.com. Right, TCT on stage.com. Okay, perfect. Right. All right. Are we ready to talk about the, the secret? Uh, un- yes. We un- All right, we're going to unveil Finally. it. Finally. Are you ready? <laughs> I have been ready. I know. Quit passing the notes around saying, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> So the um, wonderful fu- news and fun that we cannot wait for that's happening in September, our opening is September 15th, is the Adams Family. And that is going to be spectacular. If you saw Young Frankenstein... Spooktacular. Spo- hey, did you hear that? That is why you're at the head of everything. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Hopefully there's a little more than that. <laughs> <laughs> if you loved Young Frankenstein, you saw Young Frankenstein, this is going to knock your socks off. I'm telling you right now, this is a huge, huge production. James Carhart will be doing the sets. Um, Crystal Wheeler will be directing. Guy Martin is our musical director. Uh, Karina Coughlin is our choreographer. Leslie Reynolds is our assistant director. And um, What a lineup. Right? I am the producer of it. Mm -hmm. And um, the set is going to be amazing because this is just not uh, just like, you know, a graveyard. I mean, we've got... We've got ancestors that come up out of the fog. We've got it that runs across the stage. We've got thing that comes, you know, the hand in the box. Um, Guy Martin will be playing Gomez. His wife, Opal, will be playing Morticia. Jason Wheeler will be playing Fester. A young girl will be playing Pugsley. Her name is Lily. And Lily Seymour will be playing Wednesday. And Ricky Peregrina will be playing um, Lucas. We have Adam Dyer that's playing Mr. Banky and um, Anya Lathrop playing Mrs. Banky. And yours truly will be playing Grandmama. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to be 102. Ex- you're going to have to extend the, uh, the, the, the run. The run. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to. That's quite the lineup, and it's going to be right at the uh, Halloween time. So how exciting is that? It is. It's really, in, in our opinion at this moment in time, a pretty much an all-star cast. We have an extremely strong cast. I was just going to ask you about the auditions. Mm -hmm. Uh, Was it a big turnout? We had a huge turnout. Mm -hmm. Really big turnout. Oh, my gosh. We got a brand new guy. I forgot. His name is um, 
oh no, his name is Adam also, I believe, and he's playing Lurch. He literally is like six feet eight. Mm. We thought we were going to put somebody on stilts, but we got this phenomenal guy, and he's got a beautiful baritone voice. So it is impressive that these people came out of really the woodworks, you know, that we had not seen to be ancestors. And we one girl named Blaine. Oh my gosh, she's a soprano. She's a teacher at the junior high. She is exceptional. So first time, yeah, they they just approached you guys and said, mm-hmm. "Hey, want to audition?" and Oh, that's cool because then people that can encourage others to just kind of, yeah, you see, come out of the woodwork. Absolutely. Right? It, Be it, part of something really cool. It is. And it all really, I have to keep telling you guys this. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting us be part of the podcast and and promoting ourselves because I'm telling you right now, our auditions are just getting better and better and newer people are coming. Adam's family is going to have probably eight new people that have never set foot on our stage before. And we've got people that decided to come back, like Anya Lathrop decided to come back. Ricky Peregrino decided to come back. Lily Seymour, who went away to uh, go to college, and, and Orange Coast College, she came back. And I called her and I said, we need a Wednesday. Are you in? And she goes, I'm there. And she auditioned and she got the part. So we're bringing these people back that have not been on our stages for a while. And they're excited. And this is this is going to be a show. And it's a big commitment, too. It's I mean, a there's commitment. a lot of time lot spent of time. auditioning and practicing and then Mm -hmm. the commitment for every weekend for several weekends in a row i mean thank you to everybody involved yeah it's huge we we just finished doing a singing um our alt learning all of our parts because you have to learn the alto and the um the soprano and um, the bass and baritones and tenors everybody has a part because it all has to harmonize and work together so Mm -hmm. guy martin is phenomenal at that and then now we're doing dancing so starting on monday we're learning choreographed steps which is frightening because you have to sing and you can't be out of breath and you've got to stay in character and you've got to do your part and so it's a it's a big thing for people who have not been in a musical before and to learn how to do all that Mm -hmm. it's a huge deal now is there an opportunity on a opening night to do some kind of like a a red carpet kind of a thing oh that's cool huh you know where whether you invite you know the mayor and and uh different people from uh you know stakeholders here in town but I, I mean, I know usually with a movie, you're you're going to watch it on screen. I don't know with plays. Do mm-hmm. they? It, it would you would have people would have to come out in character, I guess, to to, to kind of tease you and, and 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 enter the theater. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out of no. you know, out of the box right now because that would be really cool. It would be very cool, and we've talked about a red carpet before. And I like the idea. I think it'd be really great not only to do that on opening night. But to do that with someone walking up and down and talking to all the people that are in, you know, the line, whether it's you, Key, or, or anybody else from the city or someone like that, I would love to do it, but I'm in the show. <laughs> so I couldn't really be out there because we don't want to break the, the you know, uh, fun of seeing Grandma come out. But anybody that wants to walk down there and talk and say, why are you here? And this is exciting. And, and then you guys are talking about a channel. What a wonderful thing to put that like on a channel that people will see live theater actually really happening. Did you see what just happened? Mm-hmm. Key, you asked her to do some extra work and then she asked you to do extra work, but I didn't get any homework. So I'm good. No, I, you, I'm you, here. You, no, you I'm good. I'm just, I could finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy a ticket. <laughs> we'll give you a ticket and you'll be the first one we interview. <laughs> I just, I, I love everything that you guys have been doing and the energy you've put in, especially this past year where we've really integrated everything that you're doing here with the show, with our show, and tried to make this a regular. First, the first one was, hey, let's just kind of revisit TCT. Mm-hmm. And then it evolved to TCTA. And now it's, Every time we've got a show, it's like, yeah, we're, we're on your press tour. Yeah. And I, I yeah. love it because the community is listening. Right. And I think they're responding and they're coming out and putting butts in seats mm-hmm. and filling up the rehearsals or the auditions. I th- this is all a part of how this, uh, this communication effort is working mm-hmm. and pulling in members of our community, yourself. I mean, you're busy. You work full time. Sure. And then you dedicate your, your fun time to this mm-hmm. and then the energy spills across well, you guys okay. just hit it out of the park you know Tatchby, the city of Tatchby enjoys a great relationship with tcta i think most of the listeners know but I'll, I'll repeat it the city owns the building yes and we pay the water the sewer the trash mm-hmm. different things whatever maintenance whatever but it's uh it's the least we can do because you guys are doing the heavy lifting the right. big work 
and entertaining us. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you. I mean, it definitely goes both ways, but thank you and a huge big T and a U because that really, what you guys have provided for TCTA is something that we would have had to look for. We would have had to look for something that we could call a theater and put some seats in. And they did that a long time ago when they had TAPA, you know, in the auditoriums. And now we physically have a theater that people are excited about coming to. So I have to tell you, you guys done an amazing job by letting us use the theater. So we want to give back the best we can with quality productions and making the BK better. And however we can make that happen, that's what we want to do. Yeah, that's cool stuff. I remember the first first day I started at the city of Dodgeby. Here you go, Greg. Go rebuild the BK. <laughs> oh, and it no. was, oh, my goodness, here we go. <laughs> but here we are today. It's yeah. amazing, right? Again, you guys are doing the heavy lifting. So thank you. Thank you very much. And you do, the, the company does just more than just the performances on stage, you, sure. you know, you're involved in the community and, and we talked about it in the past, about with the make a wish and things like that. And it's these, this networking opportunity that, that comes to me with these microphones across from me and people that come join, it adds to the collaborations. Right. And talking with, uh, you know, with make a wish one time. And then two weeks later you're in the studio and then I've got the American Legion in, and then we've got the chamber and I go, hold on a second, when we start talking about events, we all can come together. Yes. And you guys have been a really important part of that and a, a nice tool that I can go to and say, hey, we need to involve TCTA in, in this. And you guys do it without seeking, you know, the look at me moments. Right. You guys were involved because it was the right thing to do. Right. So thank you for that. And thank you for all thank the people you. in your company that just step up and a volunteer time for I, things like that. Thank you. I should have brought in with me, and this was something that was important to me, was we had Mountain Pathways come and see the production of Clue. And, you know, I talked to Teresa over there at Mountain Pathways, and she was very excited, and we thought, this is fantastic. And so they came. We comped about almost uh, 40 tickets, I think it was, and they came on different days. And I didn't hear from her. I thought, oh, okay, they showed up. That was great. I hope they had a really good time. What I didn't know is each person that came and saw it they gave me an envelope of thank you cards that they all drew up on their own. Um, it was fun. We had a great time. And I have 40 individual thank you cards. They're actually in my car. I should have brought them in. But that just warmed my heart because we've been wanting to try to get them in to see a show for so long. And now they know about it. So we're going to keep partnering up with that. And we're going to try to keep getting them in. And the same thing with uh, Sandy over at um, Salvation Army. She's a teen center. I'm going to work with her to start getting those teens to start coming over to the BK and being part of that. So I'm kind of that person that likes to go out there and start plugging in to see whatever happens. Because as an executive producer, I need to constantly make sure that we are producing. I need to constantly make sure that we are getting butts in the seats and money happens. That's kind of my role. And I take it really seriously. So whatever I can do to plug in to get people to start coming, I don't care if we charge you for the BK. That's not what it's about. It's about you coming to the BK and bringing whatever you got so that we can start that partnership. That's kind of our thing. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now, what uh, besides the Adams family that'll be Yay. coming? Do we have anything else that we can tease? Sure. So we're doing T Town again. Okay. Um. So this time it's called T Town Talent, and we're trying every single time we do T Town. It's in the same time in October. Every time we do T Town, um, I host it. Um, it's very much um, ad lib. It's off the cuff. It's we're gonna have a live band like we always do with Guy Martin and his uh, members of his band. But we're always trying to bring something just a little bit different each time we do Tea Town. So this time we're going to kind of, you know, break the break the walls down a little bit, do a little diversity in there, and we're going to have um, some lip syncing. We're going to have um, a magician this time. Uh, he's nine, by the way, um, which is hysterical to me. And um, but we're going to have some newer people that are going to be part of Tea Town this year, just to make it a little bit different. So every time you come to Tea Town. It's the same kind of show. It's live. It's off the hook. It's improvised. There's no scripts. And the talent is real. This is real talent that we're putting out here. But that you get to see new faces and new people. And that we hope generates interest in our community to keep bringing the, the young people in and to even your own selves. If you know how to play the guitar, sing, dance, you do, spin plates, we don't care. Bring it and we'll put you on that stage. Because we just want to bring a variety of uh, talent and interest out there and that's what t-town's about and then of course any any money that we get we're going to donate half of that money to a charity so we want to make sure that a charity gets recognized i'm just thinking i don't have a talent 
Can, do you do anything? <laughs> I and the talent for keeping Tehachapi going. Well, thank you for the, the kind kind words, but my wife has actually been for several months telling me, you need to get a hobby. Okay. And I'm like, I don't what, what do I do? I don't know. I mean, I I just work. I, I don't know. What do you do, Key? You I, have a ta- play, well, you pickleball. I, I play pickleball. Pick, pickleball. pickleball. Yeah. Can we get you to play pickleball, put it on the screen, put some funny music behind it and... You you want to? We can figure something out. If you want to do something like that, yeah. sure. We can we can uh, we can make it happen. Yeah, Greg, yeah. you could walk in and go. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> would, it, would I get a vote? Yeah, <laughs> probably, <right>. not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah, but that's what T Town's all about. It's just about talent and and people that are out there that want to be on stage and are afraid or not afraid. But you've got this talent that you just want to show it off. We had Audenai Ferris, who's a broker for Remax. She did that. You know, and she had a phenomenal time. Odd and I can sing. Did she you can, know that? No, I had no idea. So at the bull riding over the July 4th, uh, just a couple of days ago, I gave the city welcome, Pastor Chris Frost, Mountain Bible Invocation. Odd and I sang the uh, national anthem. Man, she belted it out. I Good was so her. impressed. Yeah. She did a perfect job. Yeah. That's what's surprising about it. And that's what T-Town is supposed to be about. It's like we there are so many people in Tehachapi that have a talent of some kind. I don't care if you know how to build sandcastles. Bring sand. We'll build sandcastles on the stage. It just bring it so that we can see what you can do. Don't hide anymore with your talent. Bring it to T Town. So that's what T Town talent's all wow. about. That's yeah. cool. It's fun. It's very fun. Can't wait. And that's when is that going to take place? That's in October. So that'll okay. be two nights. It's October twenty second and twenty third. I think that's the Friday and Saturday. Or I'm sorry, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Saturday and Sunday. And one of the reasons why we kind of only do it for two days is because Adam's family may run into a fifth weekend. Oh, and I bet it does. I know. I'm hoping. <laughs> um, but we don't want to cut it. We're really tight in moving Adam's out and getting T-Town ready. So we only have like three or four days. And then T-Town's got to be up and running. And that's all done by volunteers. Absolutely. Nobody's on the payroll. Not one Not one person. person. Nope. Yeah. Yep, if they were, I'd quit my day job. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final thing we got going on is this is a wonderful show that we just found. Um, so um, part of TCTA is being part of what we call the um, production committee. And the production committee is a huge responsibility. And anybody can be on the committee as long as you're a member. And you have to find plays for us for our full season and for our Christmas show. And for many years, we've done a musical in September. And so when December comes along, we really kind of short-sight ourselves because there really isn't too many plays out there that are not musicals. So we think, oh, about Elf? No, it's a musical. Oh, what about The Grinch? No, it's a musical. You know, so they all come out, but they're all musicals. For us to do musicals like that back-to-back in such a short span is a lot for our talent because we've all been exhausted in, in September and now it's the holidays, and we've got to rehearse again for another three months for another musical in December. That's a lot for us. So 90% of the time, we never do a musical in December. But this year, we're not doing a musical in, September, in December, but we found this wonderful non-musical so that next year we can. And so this year, we found this wonderful little play. It's called Coney Island Christmas. And um, it's a Pulitzer Pulitzer Prize winning show. And um, it is a wonderful Christmas story about a Jewish family um, in present day in L.A. It's a grandmother and a daughter or a granddaughter. And the granddaughter is just your basic granddaughter with the ear pods on and doing her thing, texting and all that stuff. And grandmother takes her back to 1932 Coney Island, Mm. where she was a young girl at school who um, was asked to be in the turkey pageant, and she was a turkey. And the director of that turkey pageant just thought, oh, she was a wonderful little turkey. She gobbled her way to stardom. And so when it came up to doing a Christmas show, they asked that same little girl to be in the Christmas show. And she said, well, I can't. I'm Jewish. And he goes, oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can be in it. Just ask your parents. So she goes home and she talks to her parents, who are definitely Jewish. And she goes, Mom, Dad, yeah, I want to be in the Christmas show. And the father says, a Christmas show? What are you talking about, a Christmas show? We're Jewish. And the mother says, oh, Jesus Christ. And she goes, that's who I'm going to play. So you just got in character. Did you just <laughs> see how right. she flowed in character? <laughs> I'm so impressed. Why, thank you. Yes. So it's a heartwarming, funny show. Um, has It touches base with 
um, just everything about Christmas, right? Kids, Christmas, being Jewish, not being Jewish, tackling the, the, the borders of crossing over because so many kids do that in our schools today or not do that in our schools. It doesn't matter. It's just about a holiday that um, the young little girl gets to learn through her grandmother's eyes how exciting it is to be of a different faith or nationality or whatever it is during a time that a lot of people celebrate. And it doesn't matter because we all really celebrate it in our own way. And it doesn't matter if you're in the play or you're not in the play. It's just a play, hmm. right? So it's a wonderful show that starts in L.A. and ends up in Coney Island, 1932. Can't wait. And that's going to run begin early December? Yes. Yeah, so that starts December 1st, but we are having auditions for Coney Island Christmas on um, August the 11th at 6 p.m., on the 12th at 11 a.m., and on Sunday, August 13th at 2 p.m. So I we encourage everybody to go to our website at tct.com, tctonstage.com, check out the sides, check out the story, and audition, audition, audition. It's a great show. And it's it doesn't matter show. what nationality, what religion, it's everybody's no welcome to audition. That's right. <laughs> See how you tied that in? Yeah, perfect. And that's going to tie in because that it will when you put the part of that run will tie in with our Christmas tree lighting day oh, mm-hmm. right. with our hometown to hatch be Christmas on green street, mm-hmm. okay. the Christmas parade, mm-hmm. all of those things we've got, you've got a parade, you've got the festivities will take place on green street, the tree lighting and the BK theater featuring this play. There's already four events that we've got lined up yep. for that, that first We Saturday. don't have festivals just during the summer. No. no. It's year round in touch. It's year round. Yeah. And we're I starting love that. we're starting our planning for that here in a couple of Speaking weeks. Speaking of planning, do you know the United States of America in three years, uh, July fourth, it's the day that we sign the Declaration of Independence will be two hundred and fifty years old. Wow. So we need to plan a party. And that's on a Friday also. Okay. Let's do so it. So let's start the planning now. The let's quarter millennial. Twenty twenty six, July fourth, two hundred and fifty year celebration. That's amazing. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So okay. can't wait. I'm already I'm already uh, thinking about what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay, good. Greg mm-hmm. and I started brainstorming this morning and one of the first thoughts was involvement of TCTA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we'll uh just kind of leave it there. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, we're going to tease you. <laughs> oh, are you going to tease me now? Oh, good. Thank you. I haven't been teased in a while. <laughs> but that's well, that's our Christmas. And then the other kind of fun thing that we have not done um, for a very long time is we always try to do a play um, starting like in January, February, like February, March type of thing. But this year um, we're saying the theater is going to call, we call it dark. So we're not going to put a show on in January or February or March. Our first show will probably start in April. But what we are trying to do in those months that we are dark is called Black Box Theater. And Black Box is where anybody, you don't have to be a member, Anybody that has an idea, that wants to work on something, you come to the theater, the theater is yours, there is no charge. You just have to contact uh, a board member so that we know what you're doing and we can get you in there. So we've got people that want to do radio shows. We've got people that want to do what we call Reader's Theater. We've got people who want to do workshops. So we've got all these things that are going to happen, and we figured we would do it in those months because for the theater, um, it gets kind of difficult to keep money coming in when it's cold outside. So instead of fighting that and having actors come out and trying to get audience members to come out, we decided let's just go dark. And we'll make enough money that we can do that, and then we'll put on a really great show that will open in April, and that will take us through to the next, you know, following, you know, Christmas, and then we'll go dark again probably next year. But that's the beginnings of us um, trying something new with our theater. So we'll see what happens. It's a great idea. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. I, uh, you know, when you, you mentioned someone wants to do a radio show, my ears went ding. I know, I saw that. Yeah, did you? <laughs> I did. And you've got earphones on. I do, I yeah. do. But it was one of those that it was like, oh, I'm, I'm interested in that. You've already piqued my curiosity with, mm-hmm. with what someone wants to do. We yeah. could do a podcast on stage. I started, yeah. I, that's another thing that crossed my mind, Greg. We, <laughs> we're starting to think on the same way. That's way. Right. Oh, that's scary. It is because a little Because we've got scary. that really big screen. So not only can you do podcasts on stage, but you've got a green screen that I've heard, and we can do stuff with that and put that on there and almost do like live, like man on the street 
You know what I mean? Or woman on the street. Uh-huh. And then you can do that and you can have your podcast all going at the same time. So you know what? The BK, dark, January, February, March. All right. Think about it. Start to give some yeah. thought to it. Mm-hmm. See, now I've just threw the carrot back at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's now, like pickleball. It back is. and forth. It is. Back it is. There's a little back and forth. There's a little give and take, you know, <laughs> a little shake and bake that's involved yeah, here. Sure. Absolutely. But uh, I, I want to ask you, you now we've talked about all the actors coming out and that. What about the behind the scenes? Those that are, you know, not on stage, but are playing all those pivotal support roles and right. making making sure the lights are on at the right time and everyone's mic'd up correctly, or mm-hmm. maybe it's it's helping with wardrobes or things like that. How has that been? Do you, are there still a need for people to that you're looking for more volunteers on that end? Absolutely. Um, Clue brought us a great group of people, and from that cast. Um, a woman by the name of Amy who played um, Scarlet, Mrs. Scarlet, I think it was. Um, Jason Wheeler, of course, has come back to us. Um, a Melody that played the the maid in there, and um, Christina Coughlin who played Mrs. Black, and um, Christian um, who played um, Professor. Did you play Professor Plum? I forget. But they've all come forward, and so now they want to learn tech. Uh, Amy is helping with props for Adam's family. Um, and Melody is in our uh, Playwrights Festival and also learning tech work. So um, sometimes that's what plays do. They You get in there and you get a part, and then you realize really what it takes to do a play. Um, I've built sets. I've designed sets. Um, so has um, Lisa Meredith and Dave Faber and David Stenstrom and Jason Wheeler, of course, and always James Carhart, Gary Mazzola, our tech guy, another guy named Jason Hansen, uh, Thomas, we've had all these people, but we're like just the the solid crew that you can always count on. But when we get newer people, now we don't have to worry so much because we do a lot of shows in one year. So we can't always be part of that. By having these people step up and learn is really important, and that's what theater is. Theater is like a school that's free. It's a free school to learn how to build how to design, how to act, how to dance, how to sing, how to light, how to do makeup, how to do sound. I mean, how to promote, how to produce. It's a free school. And if you jump in and do that, whatever your niche is, we have people who can teach you to do that. And we hope that you get bit by the bug so that you'll stay. You know, So we've got some people that are staying right now, but we can always use more people. Absolutely. Love it. I do too. I was just thinking about the school district and the opportunities for the students. There should be, you know, I don't want to sound like a preaching, but there should be a, a closer relationship between mm-hmm. TUSD and TCTA. Correct. There should be. And I agree with you. Monica Nadon has been very good about asking to use our theater for her students to do shows. And I love Monica. Mm-hmm. She's fantastic. Mm-hmm. But we would love it. And that's why I'm trying to reach out to with Sandy over at the Salvation Army because a lot of the kids go there. They have really no place to hang out afterwards. So I want to kind of incorporate them. But I'm, I'm happy. And through Alex McKenzie, who is a senior now at the school, and Blaine, who joined Adam's family, who's a junior high teacher, you know, we're hoping that we're beginning to spread these little tentacles to start getting that to happen. A lot of opportunities. I always think about the build a plane. I think key they're on their third airplane. Students are building airplanes, and they're they're building Incredible. their third airplane, and then a test pilot flies it, and then I believe they might sell it to to finance the next airplane. I'm not sure, quite sure, but um, it's a great it's a great partnership. The city, you know, there's a hangar that we allow them to use and. Nice. You know, we're all about the partnerships. That's how we really move forward in a positive way. Partnerships. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. hey, bring the bring the high schoolers on. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You know, I got time. Not really. But I do have time because I will always make time. Because I think kids really um, are, they're pretty fascinating these days. You know, their brains work a lot different than my brain does. And they're faster. They learn their lines faster. They learn technology faster. It's really kind of incredible to watch. And I love bringing kind of old school thinking, which is my solid ground, to their new brains, which is going faster than the light, you know, and making that work. So come on, kids. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Knock on the door. Open it up. Let's go. Get it done. Mm-hmm. There we go. Get her yeah. done. All right. So, Chris, anything else that uh, we want to touch on, tease? Any more secrets? Oh, yes, but you'll have to wait until the next time. 
<laughs> no, um, I think that's quite a bit that we have going on right now. That was a lot of information. Yeah, there's a lot always happening at TCT, and that's what we want to do. So go online, uh, be part of TCTA, be part of the production committee if you want to read plays and, be, and pick our seasons out, or just come to the theater and jump in. We'll give you a paintbrush and a power tool, and we'll teach you how to build and paint. Or just donate money if you want. How about that? Right? I never ask takes, anybody for well, money. But, but it does. I mean, it, honestly, money makes the world go round. That's right. A bit of volunteers, but you have to have cash to be able to produce everything you've been talking about Absolutely. the last 40 minutes. Yeah. And, right. you know, and you're right about that, Greg. I should be more proactive in asking on, like the podcast. I do ask when it's one-on-one, but not on a podcast. If you want to be a, a, a sponsor of a play, you just want to make a donation you know, we will do everything we can to say thank you to you for that. But what really benefits by that donation is the theater, is our community, is our actors, is what we can bring to the table. That's where you'll see the biggest thank you. So if you want to fund, you know, uh, sponsor a play, and usually that's anywhere from a thousand dollars to three thousand to four thousand dollars, depending on the musical or a non-musical. If you want to be a sponsor of that, we will we will make sure that we show you how thankful we are by every performance. And there's 11 of them. So there's 11 thank yous coming your way, Mm -hmm. you know, and all those actors on there and everybody behind the scenes would be truly grateful. So we do need that kind of support and money to keep the theater going so that we don't always live from hand to hand nine times out of 10. And as individuals, we can also become community members. Mm -hmm. You absolutely can. $35 a year. You can be a member of TCTA which is really nothing in the grand scheme of things. And you can be part of everything that we have to offer. And that also it gives you $5 off oh, ticket prices, right? So you right. can actually utilize that $35, if you will, and, and advance it to TCTA. That's right. And then uh, you can get $5 off your, your ticket purchases. Mm-hmm. That's right. And here's the interesting thing about it is, yes, you become a member for, you know, for $35 a year. But let's say you bought three tickets as a member. You're going to get $5 off all those tickets, not just on one ticket. But all those tickets. Yeah. So it comes so, right back. It does. You get it back just to help advance them. So they've got the money to purchase the rights to these plays, to yes. put together great productions for us to enjoy. And then you're downtown. Lots of great restaurants. We have new Stray Leaves Tasting oh, yeah. Room. A lot, lot of activity in downtown. This is just part of what makes downtown so healthy and inviting. Absolutely. Absolutely. So come on downtown Yeah, and come see a show. Well, Chris, thank you for, for stopping by. And we're looking forward to the Playwrights. Palooza, yeah. the 2023 Playwrights Festival, which starts July 14th and runs through the 16th. Oh, we've got it through the 23rd. That's going to be your final matinee show. Yeah. That's when the winner is announced. That's when the winners are announced, yes. But if you go between the 14th through the 22nd, you can actually vote yes. on who wins this. Yeah, and that's fun. Because we've got commentary and jokes that are happening in between, and it's so it's so simple. It's not like a play where you have to sit and you know wait for them to set up. It's not. There are people talking in between, like hurry up and put that chair on. You know, I mean, it's all. It's just very live and real, and it's probably about as real as live theater is going to get with the ten minute play. Because nine times out of ten, you just watch a show and you wait for them to move the set, and then you watch part of the show again. This, you're really pretty much interactive with it, so it's very nice. And tickets are twenty dollars a piece, fifteen dollars if you're a member. So That's make right. that thirty five dollar donation to become a annual member, mm-hmm. and you can pick up that ticket for fifteen dollars. And you can do that going to tctonstage.com. You got it. All Perfect. Right. I think uh, we covered a lot. We sure did. There's, uh, I, I can hardly wait for the Adam Sandler. This is going to be fun the playwrights Palooza. But we talked to you about the Adams family months ago. Yeah. And it's been building. And especially yeah. with that show Wednesday that, uh, that I was hooked in and watching, um, on Netflix. So it's, there's, there's, you're going to have a huge turn. You, you, you might as well just add the extra weekend already. I know tickets are on sale right now and I haven't checked yet to see how many of them have been sold, but they've been live to purchase tickets right now. And um, Lily Seymour, who's playing Wednesday, she's got some shoes to fill because the TV show is out there. And let me tell you, that little girl packs a punch. Mm. So keep your eye out on Lily Seymour. She's pretty amazing. All right. Things to look forward to at the BK Theater, thanks to TCTA, the Tatchby Community Theater. So uh, again, Chris, thanks for swinging by. Thank you. Good to see you guys. All right, folks, if you've got a question, a thought, or suggestion, send it to us at media at TehachapiCityHall.com. And if you've got a question for TCTA, for Chris Morales, send it to us. We'll make sure that Chris gets it, and we'll get the answers back for you. And we just appreciate the time you spend with us right here on Tehachapod. 
To Hatch a Pod is a conversation about to hatch a bee, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at tehatchbeecityhall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.